Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Revenue Service Advisory Council. An advisory council sounds great because I'd like to give the IRS a piece of my mind. And I'm not talking about the nice, helpful, relaxed piece either. I'm talking about that irritating, nagging piece of my mind that just won't shut up. That's the piece of my mind I'd like to give the IRS. Wait, what? The IRS is taking your advice is reinstating lobotomies as part of the tax code. Wait a second. There's a difference between mind and brain, you postmodern materialist. What? No, I'm not going to my IRS mandated lobotomy appointment or getting a booster. IR 2022-94, April 25th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service today announced it's accepting applications for the Internal Revenue Service Advisory Council for 2023. Applications will be accepted through June 3rd, 2022. The IRS AC serves as an advisory body to the IRS commissioner and provides an organized public forum for discussion of relevant tax administration issues between IRS officials and representatives of the public. The Advisory Council proposes enhancements to IRS operations, recommends administration and policy changes to improve taxpayer service compliance and tax administration, discusses relevant information, reporting issues, addresses matters concerning tax exempt and government entities, and conveys the public's perception of professional standards and best practices for tax professionals. IRS AC members are appointed to three-year terms by the IRS Commissioner and submit a report to the Commissioner annually at a public meeting. Applications are currently being accepted for terms that will begin January 2023. Nominations of qualified individuals may come from individuals or organizations. IRS AC members are drawn from substantially diverse backgrounds representing a cross-section of the taxpaying public with substantial uh, desperate experience uh, disparate experience in tax preparation for individuals, small businesses, and large multinational corporations, tax-exempt and government entities, information reporting, and taxpayer, uh, taxpayer or consumer advocacy. Applications uh, should document the proposed member's qualifications. In particular, the IRS AC is seeking applicants with knowledge and background in some of the following areas. Individual wage and investment knowledge of tax law application, tax uh, prop, uh, prop preparation experience, income tax issues related to refundable credits, the audit process, and or how information returns are used and integrated for compliance. Experience educate, educating on tax issues and topics with multilingual taxpayer communications and taxpayer advocacy or content or contact center operations marketing applying industry benchmarks to operations with tax software industry and or with the creation or use of diverse information returns used to report income deductions withholdings or other information for tax purposes familiarity with irs tax forms and publications and with irs's online applications eg online account the eitc earned income tax credit assistance etc and financial services information technology background with knowledge of technology and in, 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 uh, innovations in public and private customer service sectors so small business and self-employed next category that is small business and self-employed knowledge or experience with virtual currency cryptocurrency and or peer-to-peer -peer payment applications so they're really digging into that one so knowledge of pass-through entities and or fiduciary tax experience with online or digital businesses audit representation and or educating on tax issues and topics knowledge base and or background related to collection activities, experience as a practitioner in one or more underserved communities, e.g. Uh, where English is not the first language, experience with uh, digitalization system tools or processes, or processes, marketing experience to help with ideas for increasing uptake of digital tools offered by the IRS. Next category is the large business and international. Experience as a certified public accountant or a tax attorney working in or for a large, sophisticated, multinational organization and experience working in-house at a major firm dealing with tax planning for complex organizations, including large multinational corporations and large partnerships. Next category, 
tax-exempt and government entities, experience with exempt organizations, and experience with employee plans. Next category, information reporting. Payment processors, e.g. credit card processors, colleges, universities, and or multinational corporations with experience filing information returns. Applicants must be in good standing regarding their own tax obligations and demonstrate high professional and ethical standards. All applicants must complete and submit an application and pass a tax compliance and practitioner check. For those, ap applic for those applicants deemed, quote, best qualified, end quote, FBI fingerprint checks will also be required. More information, including the application form, is available on the IRS AC's webpage. There's a link to that here. Questions about the application process can be mailed to. There's an email address. There'll be a link to this in the description so you can check out the links here and you can check out the email address if you're interested in moving forward with it. There'll be a link to this in the description.